So something I do all the time in Maya is I freeze transforms of an object because I've got the object the size I want, in the location I want in my scene, at the angle I want, and now I want everything to be zero so that I know how to get things back to where it was if need be. And this is really important for rigging and animating and everything, so uh, this will come up, come up a lot. And to do this in Blender, it's a little different than Maya. So as you can see here, if you don't have this menu, this transform menu just go to your top right and there's a little arrow you click it and then you drop down and you'll get your transform or to see your transforms you can go to this little orange box with the other box around it and just drop down transform and delta transform because that comes into play too okay so initially what i did is i had my object selected i went to object in object mode and then apply not transform, that's misleading, go to apply, and then I applied all transforms, which almost looked to be perfect. I mean, I've got everything at one for scale, which is what you want, and then the rotation and location are zero. So that looked good to me, except for one thing. My pivot point has reset to the center of the world location, which I like my pivot point to be centered in my object for the most part, unless it needs to be here. So I then reset it. So I went to object, set origin, origin to geometry. Now it's back, but my location has changed and that was confusing. So there's a way to do this, um, to get my location to be zero, my pivot to be centered and everything else to be one or zero. So I'm gonna just go back, back to the beginning here. Um, so we have rotation at 90 degrees, scales all tiny. Um, now, what you have to do to freeze transforms the way you would in Maya is have your object selected, go to object, go to apply, rotation, and scale. Now they are at one for scale and rotation is at zero. Perfect. And if I look at my menu here, the transform is just as I expected. It stayed the same because I only applied the freeze transforms to rotation and scale. Delta is the same. Now we have to do one more thing. So make sure your object selected, go to object, apply, or guys, you can also do control A. That will get you this menu. Um, so I'm just gonna go back here, do it the, the way I did it before. And I'm gonna go location to deltas. This is what I wanna do for the location information only. And the problem is that I did not have it selected. So apply, there we go. I didn't have it selected or something was off, but location to deltas. So now the location stuff I had in my transform uh, dropdown is moved to deltas. This is important because now for all intents and purposes, I can move things around, reset them to zero, but the actual location in space is being recorded here in the delta transform rather than the um, the ultimate transform menu here. Um, location works a little differently from rotation and scale. The coordinates you see are the position of the object's origin relative to your scene's world. So this is relative to the scene's world rather than this now. Something to note is while objects that are children of another object have local positions relative to their parent, objects that are children of the world have coordinates that are global. So before the location moved to delta, it was reflecting a world transform location. And in, by switching them, we have now made it easy to define its location in space as zero rather than where it really is relative to the world space. So it's a little confusing and Maya is actually doing the same thing. It's just a little more behind the scenes. Um, and if we ever need to know where this object is in world space, we would look at the delta transformation instead. Um, so this is how you do the freeze transform in Blender compared to Maya. I know it's confusing, but um, honestly, after you get used to it, it's pretty cool. And it helps you see under the hood a little bit in terms of um, world space. Thanks for joining me. Please watch my next vid.